Hey Frenchie fam, I'm back with another video. This time we're gonna do an Amazon haul. I got the kids and I some self-care and healing books. Um, we've been through a lot in our lives together, growing together, and you know, there's some things that we all just need to work on. So I'm gonna share with you some of the books that we got. So the first book is called Everything a Band-Aid Can't Fix. It's a book by Nicole Russell. It's a teen guide to help healing and dealing with life basically about how a band-aid can't fix family issues, feelings of insecurity, the loss of loved ones, bullying, and everyday challenges. This book is supposed to help them uncover things that they wish to hide and begin their journey to self-comfort through it all. Um, my kids tend to keep things inside, um, so to build our communication and make things stronger between us. I got these books to help us be able to express ourselves and not hold anything in. Get everything out, be open and honest with each other. I'm really excited to be able to um, do these kind of things with the kids, read these books, do these workbooks together. Like this will definitely bring us closer and I'm really excited. So the next book I got is called Listening to My Body. It's a book by Gabby Garcia. Um, and basically, she gives children the vocabulary to name their sensations and cultivates the message that whatever they are experiencing is okay. So she has vocabulary words like buzzing, tingly, and wiggly, and squirmy. That helps the kids, you know, better express themselves, puts things into practice so they can figure out what they need to show care and kindness for themselves, especially when they're experiencing difficult emotions. So I'm excited to read this book with them as well. So the next book I got is called um, Anger Management. It's a workbook for kids. It has 60 plus activities to focus, stay calm, and make good choices. Now, just being honest, um, my son, he does have a little bit of anger management issues. Um, we've been through a lot, just, you know, with the things that I was going through. And I want to do whatever it takes to make him, you know, feel better, be able to express himself, you know, draw pictures about his feelings, different situations, just to get him through. He first needs to recognize what it is, what makes you angry, what does it look like, where is it coming from? Um, so I'm excited to do this workbook with him. You know, I know it'll definitely help him. It'll definitely help me, especially doing it together. Um, I think this will be a good book for us to try, you know, to work on and work together. And he's even excited because he knows he doesn't want to feel like this anymore. And I told him if we can get it under control now while he's still young, it'll be a lot easier to manage as he gets older. Unlike, you know, with me, I'm an adult and I'm trying to get things together now. But this is my story. This is my walk in life. This is, you know, what God is putting me through. So... I just feel like I need to be there for my son to help him through his as well. The next book is Bedtime Meditations for Kids. Um, this is really for Demi. It's a book by Corey Cocciolo. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, it has tons of techniques, breathing exercises, mindful meditations, yoga poses, which Demi loves to do, and more to help her, you know, fall asleep faster and easier. So she tends to toss and turn. Um, for a little bit before she finally drifts off to sleep. So hopefully with these fun activities, um, it'll help, you know, calm her mind down, cope with difficult emotions, improve concentration, and get some restful sleep. So the next book we have up is called Listening With My Heart. It's a story of kindness and self-compassion. It is a book by Gabby Garcia about a girl who is great at showing kindness to others, but sometimes isn't so kind to herself. She is quick to take in a lonely cat or befriend a new student, but she has critical self-talk for herself when she misses a big goal or makes a mistake at school. So I'm hoping my kids like this book because it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to miss a goal. You know, just speak kind to yourself, be nice to yourself and know that things will be okay. So the next book I got is Mindfulness Workbook for Kids. It has 60 plus activities to focus, stay calm, and make good choices. Mindfulness is a book by Hannah Sherman. Um, it's basically a simple way to be present and become aware of what's happening inside and outside of your body. I got this book for Siani. Um, this is supposed to, you know, help her with her coping skills, 
how to handle tough situations, manage big emotions while finding focus and concentration. Um, that's one thing with Siani that we are working on, how to you know, manage certain situations that she finds difficult. So hopefully this workbook will help us. Got this book as well for Siani, The Care and Keeping of You, the body book for younger girls, just to help her answer some questions about her body changing as she gets older and goes into her teenage years. So this book I got for myself, it's called The Four Agreements, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom. It's a book by Don Miguel Ruiz, same last name as me. Um, it's considered a self-help for stress management and personal growth kind of book, so I'm excited to read it. I've heard a lot about it, so I'll let you guys know once I get through it how it goes. So another book I got was Animal Farm. It's a book by George Orwell. Um, I know a lot of my friends had read this in school, it's basically a book about how um, George Orwell is trying to show how terrible the Russians were post-revolution during a time in which the West favored Russia. Um, so overall, he just wanted to show how the communist government was um, and trying to do it in the safest way as possible. And the last book I got is You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. It's a book by Jen Sincero. Um, basically, she wants to help you live your best life. Supposedly, it's hilarious. It's inspiring. I'm excited to read it because they say it's about making big changes in your life. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Confronting my fears. I'm trying to take risks. I'm trying to make more money. Um, she just teaches you how to become your own personal cheerleader. And, you know, kick ass doing it. I will list all the books down in the description box below. Be sure to check them out and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you read any of these books and what you thought about them. To become a part of the Frenchie fam, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Thank you, fam.